SpongeBob would be out jellyfishing with Patrick. As he was jellyfishing, he would catch a big, nice jellyfish, but then suddenly a portal would open up as he fell straight through it. He ended up in the Hasbin Hotel universe. A couple things. I know he's the size of a sponge but needs water, but in this universe, let's just say he's normal people size and he doesn't need water. As SpongeBob looked around, he was confused, as then he decided to go around and play with people. As then he walked around and said, Hello, sir, do you want to play a game? He would say, a game? What are you talking about? As he would just talk like a kid and walk around. People were confused about this strange sponge. And anytime someone tried to hit him or attack him, it would just bounce right off of him and he would just keep running around. News spread about this happy guy. He would actually try to help people. A lot of times he would cause more harm than good, but he also cheered a lot of people up. They called him SpongeBob. One day as he was going around, he would see a girl who looked sad outside the hotel. As Charlie would look up and see the sponge, SpongeBob would say, what's wrong? Charlie would, was about to tell him to, you know, go away because, well, people asked that sarcastically around her. But she realized something. It sounded sincere. As she said, well, my redemption is not going too well. I'm seen as a joke. And now I'm relying on some mass crazy radio demon. Radio demon? Hmm. That ain't too bad. I can help take care of him. After all, I dealt with the flying Dutchman. A ghost that flies around in the sea. Charlie was shocked. Usually she could tell when someone's lying or making fun of her. Which it sounds like Spongebob was doing, but he sounded so sincere. So Charlie decided to let Spongebob in to see what would happen. Spongebob would walk into the hotel. As everyone there would look at him. As Alistair would slowly walk up to him and say, Well, aren't you a little strange one? Tell me, what are you here? I'm here to make Charlie happy. Oh, are you look hungry. Can I make you a Krabby Patty? A, a Krabby Patty? Hmm. Sounds interesting. How about we make a deal? And you seem like a young chap. As I was a deal? How about this? I make you Krabby Patties and we watch Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. I also would say, no, that's not how a deal works. You have to give up. Oh, I get it. You want to go jellyfishing? Alistair would get annoyed as he shot electricity right into Spongebob, but it did nothing. As Alistair would say, I'm not touching this, as he went back to his room. Tusk would talk, wow, you took a direct hit from Alistair himself. Now that was impressive. As Spongebob wouldn't be paying attention, he would turn on the TV and say, where's Barnacle Boy? Barnacle Boy! As then, Husk would sigh and say, it's going to be a long night. He would say, he's like an extremely powerful child. I can't believe this. I guess we can't keep him around. He's too dangerous. Charlie would say, are you insane? Look at him. He's so happy all the time. I'm sure he can get redeemed. Baggy would say, I don't know if he's a sinner. I don't feel that soul energy. I don't either, but he has to be something. Besides, if he could take a blow for Alistair, I'm sure he could protect the hotel. Baggy would say, sure, but do you think he would even want to? Charlie would say, yeah, you just have to turn it into a game. Watch this, as Charlie would walk up to SpongeBob. As Charlie would go up to SpongeBob and say, do you want to play a game? SpongeBob would say, oh boy, I love games. What is it? Um, defend the hotel. It's called defend. Just run around. If anyone tries to attack, stop them. SpongeBob would say, all right. As then he ran out and Baggy said, well, that was easy. Charlie would then sigh and sit down. Can we really do this though? I mean, he's so hy hyper energetic how do we even do that as they all started to talk about spongebob angel would say he's kind of cute in a kid like way he looks so innocent i bet he couldn't even hurt a fly with all that power as suddenly the whole hotel shook as sir Pinjus attacked it as the entire hotel shook charlie and vaggy walked out as Sir Pinchus would say, It is I, the mighty Sir Pinchus. Do you think you can challenge me? I am back for revenge. Finally, now Alistair, it's time to do. Suddenly, SpongeBob would blow a bubble as it surrounded the airship and started to make it float away. As Sir Pinchus said, Hey, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? As the bubble then flew into a building and popped as the airships flew away violently as he screamed. Ah! Angel would say, Well, I... I guess I take that back as he couldn't hurt a fly. As Sir Pinchus would uh, not feel the best after that. SpongeBob would say, oh, he'll be fine. It's just a little hot air balloon falling down. People are fine with that all the time in Bikini Bottom. Charlie would say, Bikini Bottom. Um, This is a Bikini Bottom. Also, I'm pretty sure he is not okay. As SpongeBob said, oh, you're just overreacting. I hope. 
Oh no, what if he's not okay? As SpongeBob would run out to check on him. As they wouldn't see him for a few days, eventually SpongeBob would come back with Sir Pinchus, as Sir Pinchus would be ready to be redeemed. As Sir Pinchus would get caught and sing the song like in canon, everything continued normal. Except for one little thing. Lucifer's visit. As Lucifer was visiting the hotel, he would notice Spongebob and want to speak with him alone. As Lucifer and Spongebob would both speak alone, Lucifer would say, So, I, uh, I could tell you're not from here. You're from some water universe where people speak underwater or something like that, and they have water underwater. However that works, I, I never really understood that. Spongebob would say, I guess you can say that. Oh, I just realized something. Oh my God. No, no, no. SpongeBob would say as Lucifer said, what's wrong? I'm late for work at the Krusty Krab. Lucifer would then do a head palm and say, are, are you serious? Uh, time works differently here. Don't worry. Up there, only a few minutes have passed. However, that doesn't mean you still can't help down here. Help me out and I'll let you go back home. All right, sounds fun. What do you need help with? Do you need a delicious, tasty Krabby Patty? I can easily make you a Krabby Patty. It will be so good, you'll love it. As Lucifer says, uh, maybe next time. Although, that does sound, you know what, make me a Krabby Patty. As SpongeBob would make him a Krabby Patty, Lucifer would eat and say, this is good. Anyway, I need you to defend the hotel. You have some cartoon powers. SpongeBob would say cartoon powers. Lucifer would say observe. Throw a giant fist as then he crushed SpongeBob as he was a little smushed thing. And then he suddenly stood up and began to laugh like nothing ever happened. As then Lucifer would grab SpongeBob and throw him onto the floor. As then nothing had happened to him. He just laughed and said, see, now that is some Toon Force. So we need some Toon Force if we want to win this battle with that. So what do you say? He would say, all right, I don't know what Toon Force is, but it sounds fun. As then Lucifer had an idea to help. As Lucifer had an idea, Lucifer said, you know about jellyfishing? SpongeBob would say, of course, my favorite sport ever. Well, have you heard about angel fishing? Once a year, these angels will fly down. You got to catch as many as you can in your net. However, don't let any of them go till they're all caught. All right. SpongeBob would say, all right, and you'll need this. As Lucifer would give him a huge jellyfish in that spongebob would say this will be fun yeah yeah well as Lucifer walked down spongebob was excited for the angels to come he was excited to play this game he was excited to start angel fishing as spongebob would get all of his nets ready he'll be ready to capture some angels he'll be ready to start his full-on journey as some people were a little bit worried about how happy he was because they didn't understand he didn't understand the severity of the situation but eventually, Adam and his extra's army would come down. When Adam came down, he was ready to fight. All right, bring it on. And suddenly, SpongeBob would bring a giant net and say, All right, it's angel fishing. Angel fishing? What, what, what is this? Get rid of him. As Exorcist would surround SpongeBob, he would just catch him in, the, in his net as he started to laugh. Bah! As he caught more and more and more and more as they were trapped in this magical net. Adam would get furious as he would fly at SpongeBob, but SpongeBob would dodge all the attacks and start to laugh. Yeah! As then Adam punched him, the punch just went back and hit him as he yelled, What are you? I'm a sponge, silly. And you're an angel. Catch! As he put him in his net. And Adam would say, let me go, let me go, let me go. As Spongebob ran and caught every single exorcist. Then he let them all go. But instead of attacking the hotel, they were trapped in a net for hours. So they were exhausted and defeated. And they all left. As Adam just simply cried and left. As Spongebob said, now that was a fun game. As suddenly a portal would open up. As Spongebob would jump through it and go back to his timeline. And that's going to leave things off. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know your thoughts video in the comments, comments below. I really enjoyed making it. I hope you enjoy watching it. I am a huge, huge Spongebob fan. And I am like in my 20s. And I still watch Spongebob. I'll be like, Spongebob, great. And I'll watch it. I really, really enjoy Spongebob to this day. And I have no idea why. I mean, even if I'm older now, I still watch. I'm still like, I need to give me some of that SpongeBob. Now, I don't watch it any day or anything. I recently just been watching it again. As the way I was like, I doubt those get very many views, but I was like, why not cross them over? Because why not? You know, these crossover videos aren't doing too well. So if you want them. 
If you want me to make more of them, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. That means the world to me. Don't forget to do that if you want me to make more of these crossover videos. Because they are a lot of fun to make. And it's easy when I'm out of ideas. I'll just be like, oh, what if I had this character? You know, it's a lot very easy when I'm out of ideas. And when I'm out of stuff to add, it just it helps out a lot. <sighs> Hmm. Sorry, I'm like very, very tired right now. Uh, as I'm recording this, it's 3 a.m. I don't know if you knew that or not. Pro I don't know why I said that. I don't know why you would assume I'm recording this at 3 a.m. When you're watching at noon, hopefully. So, yeah. Who's your favorite hell of a boss or has been hotel character? Let me know in the comments below. I watched this like one video that said that Busy Pop doesn't represent pan characters good enough. Because, you know, they're over, like, they want to have fun, they want to party, and they want to, like, be with people too much. And I'm like, the reason, and the example they gave was Blitz, which is an awful example, because Blitz has been hurt and tortured, and he goes like that to cope. And a lot of people do that, a lot of pan people, a lot of straight people, you know, you don't have to be pan to do that. So, yeah, I disagree with that entirely, because Blitz is someone who's been hurt, he feels like he can't be loved, so he uses, you know fun and touchy-feely stuff to make up for it and i and i honestly don't blame them for doing that you know and people are like that and i feel like that has nothing to do with him being pan i feel like the person who made that didn't really know what he was talking about but you know i did watch like five minutes of it. i can't get through all of it because like the points just it didn't make much sense to me but he did make some good arguments here and there so let me know what you thought of this video down in the comments below. I really enjoyed making it. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Who's your favorite SpongeBob character? And who else would you like to see in Hasbro Hotel? And what other ideas do you have? Do you have any ship ideas? Do you have any like, what if this happened or what if that happened? <sighs> if you do, that would mean the world to me. If you don't think anyone loves you, you're wrong. Because I love you. Peace out.